Is that Mayor Mike Rawlings will give his annual Growth South report. It'll be an update on neighborhoods, development, and quality of life issues all across Southern Dallas. News 8's Demond Fernandez spent an afternoon touring parts of Southern Dallas with Mayor Rawlings for a unique Growth South preview. It's an area covered with historic neighborhoods, beautiful hills, and hardworking families. What makes Southern Dallas so unique? Well, first of all, the size, okay? The size is remarkable. Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings often brags you can fit a city the size of Atlanta in all of Southern Dallas. And it's the area's potential that's been part of the premise behind the city's Grow South initiative for nearly six years now. The Southern Dallas is not a charity case. It's an investment opportunity. So exactly how far has Grow South come? The beauty of it. I got a rare chance to spend an afternoon with Mike Rawlings recently, checking out several of the program's target zones. People thought this was a credit part of, of the town. Our first stop was the Cedars near downtown. It's become a hotspot busy with development, new homes and retail, new infrastructures coming too. In two years, okay, that's all gonna be transformed. That's gonna be the site for the high-speed rail. Rawlings says a Grow South in. initiative was so. important because too many people were moving north. Since 2012, population across southern Dallas has grown 7%, thanks in part to targeted goals. A culture of clean, okay? We want to strengthen neighborhoods. We want to strengthen the schools. Though public school enrollment is down, some communities like Pleasant Grove and parts of Oak Cliff are seeing a bit of a renaissance. Along Jefferson, the new Mercado's become a cultural hub. It's a space that, uh, that brings all the Latino culture from Mexico to Argentina. But with new businesses and more jobs, residents say issues like mobility continue to be a concern. How many men are you taking to jobs now? Oh, probably about 150 now. 150. We ran into Curtis Corbin's during our tour. His company drives workers to sites like Inland Port, where regular access to DART is a challenge the city's trying to address. Because you're doing good. You're doing good. Well, appreciate you, man. Okay, thank you. The Red Baird area is another zone seeing a lot of growth. A Starbucks cafe and training centers opening on Camp Wisdom this summer. And plans are in the works to transform the 70s-style Red Bird Mall into a place where people live, work, and play. And when I talk about quality, I'm talking about retail. I'm talking about restaurants. I'm talking about entertainment. I'm talking about office space. A lot of work's been done, but Mayor Rawlings knows there's still a lot to do across Southern Dallas. Compared to where we were six years ago, I give us a, a, a high B or an A. Compared to where it needs to be, I give us a C. The mayor says moving forward, the framework's in place to continue making some Grow South gains. DeMond Fernandez, Channel 8 News. So the complete 2018 Grow South report will officially be revealed this coming Thursday. It'll be at the new Trinity Forest Golf Course. There's about to be a new way to get around Tarrant County.